Okay guys, well, um, it's uh, kind of snowing out, so there's nothing really to do, and I'm waiting for the driveway to fill up, so it's worth shoveling. But um, there's a new update. It's an add-on to the custom firmware 5.50 Gen D3. It's uh, D3-2, that's the AKA mark, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but uh, basically, it's the second version. It's a 1000 build of 5.50 Gen D3. And uh, simply what it does is it fixes some problems like the PlayStation Network. It will solve, like you were able to view the store but you weren't able to log in. So that is fixed. Oh, I, I believe that's fixed anyway, pretty sure. And um, also some of the lagginess, for an example, me experiencing uh, with my battery plugin, which is the home button. And uh, it'll show in the bottom right hand part of the screen here a uh, little battery icon. I've noticed that it is somewhat laggy while I'm playing music, which it never really did that before. Uh, that is resolved as well. So, um, without further further ado, let's uh, show you how to install this new Dash 2 to the 5.50 Gen 3 or D3 custom firmware. Alright, so here we are at my PSP. This is my Slim. Uh, if you notice in some of my other videos, I do use this PSP Slim here, but uh, it's just uh, temporary use. But anyways, go, I'm going to go to my system settings here, and do, do, do system information, hold on a second, okay, it's blocked. Alright, and you'll see that I'm on 5.50 Gen D3. So, all I'm going to do now is simply connect the USB to my PSP, which, uh, hold on, give me a second, I think i got to change the USB ports up. Okay, yeah, I had to uh, change the USB, so I had my iPod USB plugged in. But anyways, I'm going to plug in a USB to the PSP, <clears throat> and then go to the computer. Alright, so at the computer here, the file I'm going to have you download is this one right here, the XGen 5.50 Gen D3 Final underscore one that is the file you're gonna want okay sorry about that my mom was calling me anyways that's the file you're gonna want to download the xgen 550 gen d3 final one whatever fuck number that is anyways double click on that open that up and um i will have the link to this on the side of the video and inside here you're gonna say the same exact thing as you did with the old gen d3 install the psp folder and the 550.pbp and if you open up the PSP folder, you'll see game, and then open that up, you'll see the update folder. Inside the update folder will be the eboot.pbp. Anyways, put that over there. I'm going to go to my computer real quick. Oh, my God. I think I'm allergic to cats because my nose is really stuffy. Hold on a sec. I'm getting a phone call now. All right, second interruption. Anyways, where was I? All right, so I'm gonna open up the removable drive for my PSP here. <clears throat> uh, this is going epically slow. Okay, anyways. All right, so first things first. You're gonna take the 550.pbp from the extraction program or the files that you have extracted. If you don't have an extraction program, just right click on the zip file that you download and say extract all and put it to your desktop you don't have to get fancy but anyways take that five point the five five zero dot pvp from your extraction program and drag and drop that into your memory stick root and as you can see i've already done that just because i installed gen d3 about like you know a day ago and there it is that's my g drive whatever it's my psp memory stick root right here so you want to put the 550.pvp in the memory stick root so simply just from the extraction program drag and drop that onto your memory stick and it will extract oh my god come on <laughs> and already been done so i'm just gonna hit no as you can see because it's already there now Open up the PSP folder in your memory stick for your PSP and then open up your regular game folder and you will see that you, well, these are all my folders anyway, but what you're going to do is go to your extraction program, open up the PSP folder there, open up that game folder and the update folder, just drag and drop that into your PSP game folder on your memory stick. There you go. And to confirm, there's the update and there's the PSP game folder. 
So we're just going to exit that now. Exit the extraction program. I get this out of the way. And come back to the PSP. Okay, so back at the PSP, I'm going to exit USB mode here. And I'm going to scroll over to the game memory stick. And you will see that I have the 5.50 Gen D3. It's the same thing as the last one, only a few things are fixed. So what we're going to do is we're going to start that up. This is going to take all day or what? Okay, there we go. Alright, worked the second time. I think it's because I had my USB cable plugged in. Anyways, uh, PSP X Gen updated for PSP Gen custom firmware 5.50 Gen D3. Yada, yada, yada. Enter. Flash install custom firmware 5.50 Gen D3. That's the first one on the list. Make sure you hit that one and don't flash install the official firmware, which is the second one down, or else I'll kick your ass because then I get mad questions on people saying, oh my god, I did the wrong thing. Well, here we go. So, flash install. Uh, custom firmware 5.50 Gen D3. Extracting PRX. That's what it starts. Now you just wait till this finishes. Alright, so now that it, we're at 100% here, <clears throat> press X to reboot your system. Uh. Okay, so now, uh, enable, 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 note, and then let's see, boot the device again, Now all your configuration settings are going to change back to what they were as the default, but scroll over to your system settings and go to your system information and you will still see that it says 5.50 Gen D3. Now this is the, it will still say what it did before, it's just this is the fixed version of Gen D3. So I'm going to uh, do 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 do. All right, well, that's how you install it. I will make a video and a review on this firmware, and um, I will also have some CSO videos for the new games, or ISOs, whatever you prefer. But other than that, that's about it. So uh, let me see if this actually fixed it. Do do. Yep, it fixed it. It's not slow anymore. Anyways, that's it about, that's how you install the uh, new final version of the 5.50 Gen D3-2, classified as 5.50 Gen D3. So yeah guys, that about wraps it up. Um, I will have the link to this on the side of this video uh, underneath more information. You got any questions? Uh, send me a comment on the video or send me a message. Uh, you got any recommendations for any other videos that you want to see, just uh, simply leave a comment on my channel. Subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up to date on my videos uh, for more videos for PSP to come. And uh, other than that, I'll see you guys later. This is a new version of the 5.50 Gen D3 custom firmware. Everything's fixed and everything works properly fine. So all of you Tekken 6 fans or Assassin's Creed, feel free to play those games. And I will make more videos on CSOs, emulators, homebrew apps, custom firmware reviews, official firmware reviews, and etc. with the PSP. Thanks again, guys. Talk to you later.